Another topic that is growing in importance as we decentralize and we distribute many of our applications and computing power is the concept of single sign-on. As large organizations bring more and more applications online, historically that would mean that as you span one application or move from one application to another you have to log in again and that gets really annoying and it becomes tedious especially when you have different user IDs and different passwords across different applications a single sign-on is totally different it simplifies authentication it basically means you sign on once and then you're granted some sort of a credential that goes with you an authenticated credential that then lets you carry along with you while you're in the system while your session is active and whenever you need to access another resource or perhaps access another application, your credential lets you in without you having to log in again. So the users love it. It reduces logon requirements and it allows you in many cases to use stronger passwords because you don't have to keep typing these passwords in over and over. Essentially, what it means is that once you're in the system, once you're authenticated, nobody looks twice at you. You're kind of in, you get to do whatever you want to. It does require some manner of central administration in order to manage this credential that you can carry along with you. There are several notable examples of current SSO systems, and they include Kerberos, Sesame, CryptoKnight, and NetSP.